Okay, so, hey guys, welcome back to Bunny's Book Corner. Um, it's been a while. I don't know, I, it's not necessarily that I feel obligated to explain anything, but I kind of wanted to. I'm feeling really bad and I wanted to explain what's been happening and where I've been. So it's gonna be a very personal video and one that might change people's, um, a lot of people's perceptions of me. I am, I haven't planned out what I'm gonna say, but I've been gone for a really long time because I went on a retreat, which I talked about on my main channel. I went camping at school for like three days and it was great. I met someone at the retreat. I met a girl at the retreat, who I really liked, I guess I should say woman because we're, because we're over 21 anyway, but um, and I really liked her. Um, sexuality is not something I talk a lot about on any of my videos. Um, this isn't a coming out video. This isn't me saying, hey, I'm gay, or hey, I'm bisexual, or any other um, label or category that there, that there is. Um, but it is something that um, is a big part of my life. Like, it, it takes up lately a lot of it, um, besides the feelings that I had for her. I also had to deal with parents who are not very tolerant, and I never knew that. Um, I didn't expect that from my parents. Um, and it's it's hard to deal with them, who they don't know the full story, but even just the possibility of me being anything other than straight has kind of sent them into this crazy mode where they feel like they have to control everything I do, even though I am at this point an adult. I know some people will look at 21 and be like, oh, well, that's really, you're still really young, and I agree. Um, to a certain extent, but I'll be 22 at the end of the summer and I'm just dealing with really overbearing parents who feel like to be anything other than straight is to be a terrible person. I feel like I can't be as honest with them as I would like um, as long as I'm living under their roof, which um, I'm really working hard on moving out at this point because I don't want to lie by omission. I'm, I'm, I'm channeling Ellen Page here. Um, but lying by omission is not something that I take um, enjoyment out of. In any case, um, so that's been going on, and also I kind of got my heart broken a little bit, um, and I hate saying that because I feel like I'm taking full responsibility for that. I put myself in a situation where I knew the other person was not, did not want a girlfriend, and yet I was like, okay, well let's just hang out and let's just be together even though we're not together. Um, and I think at this point we are cutting things off just because it's easier to move on that way versus trying to m create a friendship or trying to move back to a friendship once already once we've already been more than friends. If that makes sense. So that's also been hard on me because I hate feeling heartbroken. Um, it's like an ache that you feel all day. Um, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to. I'm so trying not to cry. Um, so that's been hard and. I'd be lying if I said that wasn't the hardest part. Um, it's just getting over people. I kind of struggle with that sometimes because, um, I don't know, I just do. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's been happening. I haven't been in a mood to read, um, even though I do have a book haul coming up. I did buy some books, um, and I've been wanting to put that up, but I feel like, you know, it, it, it's not an authentic video. Like, I'm just plastering on a happy face for the sake of trying to put up some kind of content because I love booktube. I love making these videos. Um, even though I feel like sometimes I put this channel in the back burner, this channel is where I feel like I can be myself in because I feel like I do have the second channel. I do have my beauty channel, but um, I feel kind of forced to create certain content for that um, because there's a certain dif there's a different audience for that and um, I have family members like distant family members who I don't really know who watch that channel so I feel like I'm very limited in what I could say um, so I do enjoy uploading on this channel it's just things have been so crazy that I haven't had a chance to really read you know and I want to I want to get lost in a story but at the same time all of these stories um, or at least the books that I choose end up being all similar stories like you know guy meets girl and you know he's never met a girl like her so he leaves his player ways to be with her and I feel like I just can never find anything relatable and it's not to say that I can't find like a heterosexual relationship um relatable because I've been in plenty of them it's just that um I hate seeing like you know that same plot line that same boy's a player but this girl's different and this girl makes him feel something and girls like shy and sweet and kind you know like i don't know i've just been in a reading rut um 
And I'm going to put up this video even though it's kind of scatterbrained and everything. Just wanted you guys to know that that's what's been happening. Um, and um, I feel like I've suppressed a lot of my sexuality um, through the years because it's something that I didn't want to feel. It's something I wanted to avoid because I didn't understand it. And to be honest, I still don't really understand it. Um, all I know is that I'm heartbroken. And I put myself in that situation, I'm not blaming anyone. Moving on process, which isn't, it's not like I feel like, oh, I'm never going to move on from this situation. It's just that it's the moments until you've moved on that hurt, you know what I mean? It's it's the process that it takes to get to step, it's the process that takes, it's the process that it takes to get to step B where you're finally like, okay, I've moved on and this person no longer, um, no longer makes me feel the way that, she does or the way that they do. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I don't even know if I'm explaining that right. Anyway, I'm just really upset and I'm kind of sad. Um, but I'm going to try to come up with more videos. I'm going to try to be more active on this channel. I say it all the time, but I feel like now that I have released this kind of secret, it's not really a secret, but whatever, um, I do feel a little bit better. So I hope you guys, if anyone's still watching, um, are okay with it if not not it's fine but i'm not gonna make apologies for who i am and who i like and who i want to be with um and that's all i have to say for now bye guys